Hey everybody, Dr. Ray Blue here, and this is my movie review of Uncanny, directed by Matthew Lutweiler and starring Mark Webber, Lucy Griffiths, David Clayton Rogers, and Rain Wilson. After graduating MIT at 19, robotics engineer David Cresson, played by Mark Webber, has lived in seclusion for seven years, working on his inventions like synthetic skin, robotic eyes, and titanium human bones, all which have come together to create an artificial intelligence humanoid robot he named Adam Cresson, played by David Clayton Rogers. He gave him the same last name, I mean, because why wouldn't he? David lives in a fortress-like high-tech lab sponsored by billionaire Simon Castle, played by the great Rain Wilson from The Office and Super. A reporter named Joy Andrews, played by Lucy Griffiths, has been sent to the lab to write a piece on Crescent's work and interviews both Crescent and Adam, who has taken on the role of Crescent's lab assistant. After her repeated visits, Andrews and Crescent develop a more personal relationship which exhibits interesting changes in Adam's behavior. His sophisticated AI allows him to expand with self-programming, but this has led to some unpredictable and potentially dangerous urges, and so plays out the interesting drama of the scientist, his creation, and his love, a truly classic narrative that never gets old for me. Well, sometimes it can get old. The film is very well paced, and director Matthew Lutweiler does a good job keeping the film's tone both intimate and yet apprehensive. As Adam begins to show more human-like emotions, his behavior also turns human-like, which is to say, unpredictable and often unnerving. The cinematography and lighting and soundtrack all mix together very well, and making a distinct difference in tone between that of the android and the creator, and I actually appreciated it even more on the second viewing of the film. Overall, the film has a nice balance of suspense and science fiction, and just enough science to make it believable. The environment and social developments of the futuristic world outside David's lab was never really expanded upon in the film, but it really wasn't needed and overall really helped reflect the claustrophobic space in which David works and the seclusion of his lifestyle. Outside of a rooftop that allows them to escape from the confines of their workspace, the outside world has been foreign to Adam and so Joy introduces an unknown element to both Adam and his creation. It's hard not to compare the film to Ex Machina, as they both share a lot in common, centering on a person visiting an inventor in his lab, where they are then introduced to an amazing creation, a bewildering artificial intelligence, and inevitably all hell breaks loose. While Ex Machina is much more slick and flashy, Uncanny manages to tell an intriguing story with focus on mostly dialogue rather than special effects, for better or worse. Uncanny looks great, and they did a great deal with the very limited budget they had. While the special effects are mostly practical with little flashiness, they are indeed believable, and that's what really helped keep the film entertaining. Especially in science fiction films based on advanced technology, it's more important to make something believable than over-the-top CGI or special effects. The film Primer is a great example of that. The twist ending of the film wasn't a big surprise and was pretty much what I had predicted from early on in the viewing, however, it was still a satisfying conclusion to the story. They do add a quick coda a little way into the end credits, which I don't think needed to be added, but either way adds a very creepy and darker tone to it all if you really think about it, but I'll leave that for you to discover. If you like science fiction films about artificial intelligence, androids and robots, or especially if you liked Ex Machina or Morgan, then I would give Uncanny a sampling. I thought it was very entertaining and did a lot with what it had to work with, and most importantly made a fairly believable science fiction film. Thank you for watching. Please comment below with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, and help spread the madness.